the text messaging uh, part of Growers Edge is very handy because uh, every day I'll receive a text that shows me uh, where the best local market is. That's what I like about Growers Edge too. It gives me the information I want on my smartphone so that if I'm not in the office, I still get the information that I need. Good afternoon, welcome to Grain TV. My name is Cody Bills. This is Logan Burgess. Today is September 2nd here. We had crop progress out this afternoon, but before we get to it, let's turn to the uh, quotes here, see where we finished off the day. Corn trading down one cent, soybeans up seven and three quarters, wheat in Chicago trading down eight and a half cents. I think one of the reasons wheat was trading down here this morning uh, and really throughout the day is the fact that the U.S. dollar continues to gain ground and that really hurts our competitiveness right. on the global market. We're going to want to continue to watch the U.S. dollar here. I know GASC did uh, issue an international tender. Last time they did that, Russia uh, won that tender uh, simply due to the fact that they have been having a great harvest here. And I think you know their competitive the ruble has been dropping yeah. uh, pretty sharply here relative to the dollar but Logan we did have uh, crop progress out here today you know what are the big changes yeah you know I think soybeans may be pressured here in the overnight session as you said had a pretty strong day today but if you take a look here at this table this details the good to excellent ratings for corn soybeans and spring wheat big thing to note here is that soybeans raised two percent week over week we saw corn have a good showing there uh, up a penny we know we had some beneficial rains across much of the grain belt last week one thing that that's going to be a concern here though for some traders moving forward uh, is the maturity of this corn crop in particular. Take a look at this slide. You can see here this is the August 31st maturity or the percent of the corn crop uh, in the mature phase uh, versus the five-year average. You can see here for much of the Corn Belt, most notably there Iowa, uh, we're well behind in terms of maturity. And if we take a look here on the national scale, 8% of corn is now mature versus a five-year average of 16%. So right now we're not looking for an early frost, but keep your eye on that here in the weeks to come. Cody, another thing that's been catching a lot of attention uh, is SDS concerns out of the soybean crop. We didn't really see that uh, in this week's crop progress numbers. Do you think that's going to be a factor next week? Well, you know, when you look at the individual state level uh, forecast. I was I was a little bit surprised because we had a lot of talk about that on the forums here last week. Right. And really talking to producers out of Illinois, they were mentioning that they're seeing it in their fields and in the surrounding fields. And so, you know, it was a concern and it still is a concern uh, just given the nature of how suddenly it can come on. But when you look at this, you know, it wasn't mentioned in any of the individual state reports in Iowa, Illinois, or Indiana. They did mention that the rains, they have seen disease and infection in parts of the crop, but you'll notice on average the soybean crop conditions did yep. increase. I don't think it really has uh, any material bearing on uh, on being able to change the direction of price here at yeah. this point. Yeah, you know, technically right now this bean market still looks to be in a pretty well-defined downtrend. And as I said, I don't think those condition numbers are going to help anything out here in the overnight session. Wouldn't be surprised if the bean market did give back some of the ground that we picked up today. Uh, when the bean market was relatively strong, when you're looking at corn and wheat, uh, as you said, Cody, U.S seems to be the big thing driving that wheat market here. We'll have to see what tomorrow brings. As always, if you want to get live quotes on your home computer or mobile device, visit us over at grainhedge.com. We have some great trading solutions and offer some very competitive clearing rates compared to a lot of other uh, firms out there. So give us a look, grainhedge.com, or as always, call the office, 877-472-4607. We'll see you tomorrow here on Grain TV.